transformed and made new. Hello, I'm Sally Glenn of Saved by Grace Ministries. Thank you for joining me today. Please share and like us on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube and Vimeo channels. Transformed and made new. Romans 8. I'm going to begin with verse 29. For from the very beginning, God decided that those who come to him should become like his son. And he called us to come to him. And when we come, then he declared us not guilty. He filled us with Christ's goodness and gave us right standing and promised us his glory. If God is on our side, who can ever be against us? Since he did not spare even his own son, won't he also surely give us everything else? Amen to that. Now I want to go to verse 35 and I'm going to read through 37. Who then can ever keep Christ's love from us? When we have trouble, is it because he doesn't love us? And if we are hungry, has God deserted us? No. For the scriptures tell us that for his sake, we must be ready to face death. But overwhelming victory is ours through Christ. Oh, yes. Overwhelming victory. Oh, that's transforming power. Now I'm going to pick up in verse 38. Nothing can ever separate us from his love. Death can't, life can't, angels won't, and hell itself cannot keep God's love away. Oh, isn't that good news? Nothing will ever be able to separate us from the love of God demonstrated by Christ when he died for us. We are promised in these very scriptures, we are promised absolute victory. Oh yes, with nothing being able to separate us from the love of God. Oh, I tell you what, that is good, good news. Let us continue on in our calling with full confidence in what Jesus has done. Oh yes, he's done it all. He's fully paid the price for our salvation. And let us continue in our call with absolute assurance absolute assurance of his sustaining, unfailing, and everlasting love. Amen. Father God, I thank you for sending Jesus. Lord Jesus, I thank you for coming, taking all my sin and dying in my place. Lord, I thank you for such love that you would give your life for me. I thank you for this precious promise that nothing can separate me from your love. Lord, help me to be fully confident, fully assured of this at all times. I thank you, Lord, for your love and for your presence, Lord, and for your power. 
It is in your name I pray. Amen.